Frustrated with myself at the moment. Uh, had a couple little incidences. My wife came home with another dog. What the fuck is that? And I bend over and smack my head on the countertop. So my first reaction is I punch my vanity and I broke my fucking vanity. So just use that anger, use that fuel, turn this uh, muscle smurf into a kick-ass back day. You know, being in that gym, just to go in there and train there is like one thing, but when I'm there eight, nine hours a day between training clients and myself, like I said, just the people, the crazies there, it can really eat you up. You know, it's, it, it's tough. It's motivating in one sense and it's crippling and debilitating in another. They don't get, you know, that sometimes you need your private space. You know, I, I don't want to have a conversation. I don't, I don't want to bullshit. You know, I'm, I'm 10 days out, two weeks out, whatever. I don't want to talk about random shit. I just want to get in and out. I want to work, I want to make my money. I want to get my workout in. place, Mary Trumpy, good friend of mine, she's been friend, chiropractor, savior since I've moved here pretty much. Uh, she's got a guy there, Galen, I just started working with not too long ago. I'm gonna go over there, it's not gonna be anything too crazy, I'm not gonna have him dig me up really hard or anything like that, just really try to break up fibers, open everything up, try to volumize everything a little bit. Right now he's working on my hamstring. Uh, today's not like a, a crazy, super deep massage. Um, you kind of don't want to do those within like two weeks of a show, uh, just because like a few weeks ago my whole right shoulder scapula was really tight and we took spent a lot of time really working on it, but with that came a lot of inflammation and uh, I lost a lot of mobility in my shoulder. Um, you know, it was needed, but there was just side effects, repercussions, and we don't want to run into anything like that. Um, so we want to give enough pressure to kind of break up some small adhesions and, uh, you know, get the muscle fibers nice and loose and fluid, but without causing too much inflammation and too much damage that's going to affect me in two weeks. to Los Angeles in 2011. Grinding away, I've had some amazing opportunities. Gold's provided a lot for me. Still does provide a lot for me. And as crazy as the place is, I owe so much to that gym and what it's opened for me and what I've taken advantage of. I'm so attached to that place now. It's hard to think about being anyplace else. When I first moved out here, had nothing going on in my life. Tito Raymond, Jose Raymond's older brother, set me up with Vince to travel to his place, Malibu, and I was training him. Still train him, a couple days a week, and cook food for him and cook food for the office, which you guys saw we delivered to. So Vince is like family to us. Yeah, you know, the, the first time I came to Gold's, I was just so enamored. This was Disneyland for bodybuilding. Seven years later, to have my photo on the wall there, it's crazy. Like I still get 
thrown aback when people come up to me and ask for a picture or ask for an autograph. I came out there with a dream, just chasing opportunity and here I am. There's kids who were in my shoes before that are looking up to me and wanting to follow my path, my journey. So it's, it's pretty crazy. All my supplements and everything I take and learning, which I don't know, fucking tip of the iceberg, but this is all him. He's, uh, he's a genius behind all that. Richard Helfer. Google it, bitch. Buy his books. You know, days get monotonous. I got home at 7.13. It takes me about 35 minutes to unpack my bags, repack some things. So I'll eat my last meal, rinse off, I'm right back at it. I'm grateful that I'm able to provide, live the life that I do. I lift weights for a living, you know. I got an amazing wife. I bitch about her a lot, but uh, truly can ask for a better human being, a bit more supportive person. I have good friends, small circle, but everybody's amazing. Got an amazing family that's supportive. I'm so positive that the direction of where our life's gonna be headed, so. Yeah, 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 it's monotonous. I feel like a hamster on a wheel, spinning my wheels, whatever, but big picture, life's fucking awesome.